Hey everyone, so now we're back. And actually, I think I forgot uh, where we were supposed to make this not blue, right? So let's remove our guy from the first player. We're actually yellow. So let's see, how do I do this? Load again? Mistakes from the very beginning. Alright. Cool. Alright, now we're good. So now let's continue the game. I'm only thinking, does this actually, like, make the story? Does it force the story to continue, or is it making it stay where I'm playing a game? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I have a mission for you. The client will inform you the details. I believe you have met her before. So this is actually one of those um, story missions that I said. Okay, so that's good. So my positioning is not affecting that, which is really good. Oh, you are the hunter assigned for this mission? I need you to find a missing person. He was a patient that suddenly disappeared from the hospital. This is the person. He has not fully recovered yet. So um, I'm not sure what the relics level means. Uh, I haven't actually paid attention to that, but that's our target item. It's just a person. So the only information I have for you is that he was last seen in the dungeon. We have no idea if he's still alive or not. Please find him and bring him back to me. Okay. We're on a missing person. Sorry. <laughs> on a missing person's case. My language is not doing so good. Okay. So now we have these different characters, the BPHS. I don't remember what that stands for. It's the feds, right? Let's see, where's the other ones? There's the blue, and there's that guy. So the items actually don't do anything. And I remember that this mission can end horribly if they spawn near him. So this is kind of cheap. We have to hurry up and get there first before the other people do. Well, I could take a huge gamble and take the exit, which I'm not going to do. I want that box. That guy has the craziest movement. Oh, actually, I think even though I'm yellow, I go first. I didn't notice that. That's weird. Oh my gosh. Where's that guy going? He's going to fight me? Dang, these people are getting really good. Look, action plus one. Okay, good. Because if he would have gone to six, he would have gone again. Oh, I gotta be ahead of everyone first before I start laying traps, right? Ooh, it's it's good right there. There we go. And I'm fighting a monster. Oh man, that guy is quick. Should I even try to kill it? No, because I need to kill the other guy. I'll counterattack, but I'm gonna use an eight. So also if I wasn't clear enough in the last video, whenever you guard, it doubles your defense. I think if I remember correctly. So if last video I had zero when I guarded, so you know, doubling down on zero is just zero. So if you have low defense, you're just better off just attacking and using a yellow card. Ooh, come on, let's go! Wow, that's so bad. You gotta be kidding me. This guy's gonna beat me to him. Oh, okay. He's fighting me. Oh, he's not fighting me. What's he doing? Alright, let's hope. Wow. Wow, that's ridiculous. Well, at least the BPHS guy isn't going for the target. You win some, you lose some, you know? Oh, here we go. What am I going to do? Oh, actually, okay, good, good. He got the box like I wanted him to. And he's running away. That's perfect. And I'm fighting a bot now. All right, bot. I'm going to use this just, just because. I should check what the robot's name is, actually. Let's see on my next turn. Or maybe I might have missed it already, right? Might as well attack it. Let's see. 
Oh, it's a cowl. Okay, that's what it's called. Oh, man, that's so far, though. I'll attack it. I don't care. Let's throw a 9 at him. Wow. Ridiculously low cards as usual! Alright. Nothing to see here. Okay, that's not... That's not as bad as I was thinking. That guy's insane. At least I don't lose damage. There you go, cool. I don't take damage. Thank you, okay, cool. So that guy's the weakest one. So they go down real quick. I, I like it how they all have different colors, like with the different monsters. I don't know if it actually affects the strength of them. I mean, we'll see. This guy has around 17 health. Or no, it's like 14. I did 14 and he just died. So there, this, this, he'll finish him off right now if he gets lucky. Nope. Okay, cool. I think actually the BPHS computers start going after the target once a certain amount of cards have been, you know, reduced in the deck. Like right now we have 64. I don't know what it would be. I'm actually going to heal. Oh, that didn't give me anything. This guy. I should actually see what items everyone has. Just because I'm curious. We still haven't found an item that gives effects. Other than backgrounds. And he's gonna finish him off! Dead. Trap. I think it's kind of cool that no one's actually going towards the target that I am. Oh, I got two. All right. Oh my gosh, this is going to take all day <laughs> just to go there. <laughs> and I'm fighting another monster. All right. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. It just cowls. Dude. It's even split. I don't know how much attack they actually have. Come on, give me blue cards. I need blue cards. That's all I want. That's all I need. Oh yeah, check what... So everyone has blue items. Alright, let's go. Oh my goodness, why is it so bad? Why are my rolls so bad? Like, look at this guy. This guy's insane. Boom. I think now he's pursuing us. No defense. Oh, that was not. Okay. It's like nine? Zero? How is that a zero? How much defense has this guy got? Okay. I think they're starting to go towards us. Oh, come on. Let's go. I'm almost there. No, he's not. Okay, cool. Never mind. This bot. I hate this bot. I'm going to use an attack card on him because I, I want to see if I can get an item. Don't want to play too safe. H how? How am I not doing any damage? Like, wow. Really? Come on. There you go. I just want to see bad things happen to them. Okay, I got a two. So close! Look at that! <laughs> Should I just wait here and try to duke it out with all the BPHS? I'm seriously thinking, should I just wait here? I don't think that's a good idea. I shouldn't. Let 
Ray, right? isn't that funny? I got all these blue cards as soon as I'm next to the target, and I don't need them. All right, all right, let's go. So there's no bonus. Well done, you found him. Thank you very much. By the way, why did you try to escape from the hospital? Kind of skipped out. I wasn't expecting him to speak. Outstanding. I will now reward you for the job, but first I need to deduct my share. What? It's too much. Come on. I need to make a living also. Alright, well, I'm actually going to save. Because if we did lose that mission, um, we would have gone a game over. So let's just continue on. Alright, let's get out of here. See, let's identify some items first. A Game Boy. Evade 5%. So I'm actually not going to sell that. I'm going to keep it for now. Just because it, it's an effect. If I evade, it gives me 5% extra evasion. Which I'm not sure if that means if I run away. I'm not sure actually. I think, it, I think that's when, for when I'm running away. So I guess there's no point in me actually going for the target items. I'll just go get boxes while I'm at it. I think that's a lot better idea. A lot better idea. Alright, here you go. Oh man, there's a lot of boxes over here. It's gonna be that one box near the exit, just wait. That's gonna be the target item. Deliria has zero movement. At, at, for once, I'm the guy with lots of movement. Wow! Wow! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't get a good roll. I'll drop an empty trap right here, and I'll just move forward. Okay, I wasn't intending to get it, but it looks like I got it. That's not a good thing, because now all the all the monsters are going to be targeting me. That sucks for that guy, though. Zero movement? That's why I do not want to do zero movement. So close. Alright. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to move there, because if I do, it'll do something bad. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it'll do something really bad, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to move over here. Because I put a trap over there, and I don't want my character going back onto the trap that I just placed. Because then there goes my hand, and there goes my movement. I mean, there goes my turn. Thankfully, he's fighting the bro. I just don't get why is the slime, like, one of the strongest ones. Like, you would think it'd be the robot, you know? Like that, like that, uh, walker one? The one that looks like it's from Ghost in the Shell, that one. Not the slime. The blob. That's it. Not gonna put down a trap. Cool. Wait, she's the one with zero movement? Oh, they, there's two of them with zero movement. I was like, what the heck? I was like... I thought it was the, uh, the Samus, right? Critical hit! No damage! Wow, that's a lot. For, for rolling ones? Alright, here's the Samus going forward. Like, who knows how long they're gonna be fighting it out? I don't speak too soon. <laughs> Just ends. <laughs> Alright, time for me to get out of here. Yes! I beat her to the box. Oh man, she's really close. That's a lot of HP on every end. You can see that. 29 HP? Oh 
me move this actually. Gotta get a better look on that. Got it. That's a background. That's another type of floppy disk. It's weird because I don't know why there's two types of floppy disks. Like, well, I guess because they need to make it. A, they ran out of colors. You know, no more red, green, blue. Now they needed to add a new floppy disk with the other color instead of adding more colors to it. Like a pink floppy disk. Like, what the heck is that? Huh. So no one really has anything other than Deliria. She's got a red floppy disk, which I do want. So I'm gonna try to finish her off. Come on, I'm so close. I'm gonna try to hunt her down. Oh my gosh. The problem with, with, with that position that she's in is that I'm on the hunt. And the thing is, she picked a choke point. So what's gonna happen with that choke point is that she's most likely gonna drop a trap there. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, okay, she's not dropping traps. Ooh, I got her. I got her, got her, got her, got her, got her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get in front of her right now. Oh my gosh, she's serious. All right, well, I guess I'll just attack her now. Wow. Here comes the damage. Here comes the pain. Boom. Such ridiculous bullshit right there. Here comes the pain. Okay, cool. Finally. Lost nothing. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. No comment. That's it. Looks like I shot myself in the foot now. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. But at least now she doesn't have any attack cards. Oh, it's no wonder. She has three defense. That's one thing I did not see. I'm really bad at these things. I'm really bad at seeing stuff. I'm really bad at these rolls. Like, this is, oh my goodness, horrible. Alright, there we go, five. Alright, let's go, let's go. Reduce that three to zero. Luck of the draw. Boom. I lost one. Lost one. There we go. Thank you. Let's finish her off now. We're having a really hectic match over there. Super chaotic and everything. That's it. I don't have enough HP. She has a bunch of HP. She has a bunch of defense. That's what I'm saying. That that's a specialized character right there. No movement. She's basically just like a sponge. She just takes hits. Can't dish out the pain. But she dished out the pain to me because I have zero defense. Alright, let's go. Oh my goodness, she's almost dead. She's almost dead. Look, I'm almost dead too. Boom. 10 damage, right? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> she healed. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Here's what's gonna end up happening. We're gonna end up almost killing each other. There's gonna be like 10 cards left now. I'm gonna have to book it to the exit. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not, there's no point, cause she's gonna use that seven. She's gonna use that seven, like. She didn't use anything, all right, well. Let's go, let's go, boom, nothing. Luck of the draw again. She's almost dead. I'm gonna try to finish her off right here. I'm gonna have to just go all in, use the eight, and hopefully, hopefully, the luck is on my side. 
and then we beat her. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I have an exit card. Okay, perfect. I'll just do it. Going all in. Use the 8. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Here you go. Boom. 9 damage. Okay, what's going on here? But now she's getting all these high defense cards. At least I can bide my time, you know, like I, I can I can take my sweet time right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I was thinking. I was hoping to stun her. Look, I'm gonna stun myself right now. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna stun myself with my own trap. Alright, well, looks like this was a lost cause. Sorry, guys, for wasting your time here. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness, I stunned myself. I'm telling you, like, it, everything's just going bad. <laughs> just, just my stupid decisions, that's it. And now, the, and now she's running away. Somehow, with zero movement and no movement cards, she's running away from me. I'm telling you, this, this is just how bad it is. I want to bump up my attack to at least 7 first. Before I start investing any more in movement. They want to fight me. Wait, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I want to take an exit. What am I doing? I'm wasting time. Oh my gosh, just take the exit already. I just want to see everyone move around. Like, that's my problem. I want to see everyone move. Come on, get out of here. Don't go towards me. Just get away from me. Alright, let's leave. This is a horrible, horrible game right there. All those attacks didn't help me, alright? How much money do we need? Well, I guess I'll sell everything first. Silver ring. What's this? Disc 7 BG12. Oh, I actually forgot. Uh, we haven't seen the other backgrounds. Well, actually, first let me sell everything. Sell this one. And sell this one. How much does the other one cost, right? My 5 evade? 200? Nah, let's keep it. Let's look at the other backgrounds we got. I guess I'll save first, too, while I'm at it. Save after every game. Make sure. Make sure nothing bad happens. Alright, let's see. So here are the other ones we unlocked. We unlocked the city. Which is actually pretty cool. And I'm like, it's so cool, I'm going to leave with that one. Here are the main characters. I'm just, I'm just like watching him. It's like, oh man, it's, it's so colorful. I'm like, I'm like stunned. All right, let's go this one. Let's see what this one is. This is the one, the one chick who kicks. I think she's gonna be down when her trademark is gone. I was trying to read what it says down there. I think it says Battle Hunter. Is that what it says? Oh, the Hunter. Okay. Let's change to this one while we're at it. Just because it looks that cool. Oh shoot. 
Welcome to the clinic. Can I level up? 1500. How much do I have? 2300? Okay. Alright, it's six. Just keep increasing attack from here on. You must successfully finish this mission. The client's company is controlling most of the Arkland area. Nice to meet you. I am Mr. Sakimu Sakimru? I need you to locate the HAV data disk. HAV is a four inch robot. This robot will be used for its first public appearance at the convention in Europe. Someone has stolen data of this have. The data was stored on this disk. The data is not the most important part. Our major concern is to make sure that we catch and deal with this person. We don't want the media to find out, which could greatly hurt our reputation. Actant! I need to talk to you! Here's some information about the thief. Get him before he gets away. The thief? Oh, it's BPHS again, huh? Oh my god, oh my goodness, I know what mission this is. This is the one where you have to knock him out. Oh my gosh, it's the blue guy. Who's the blue guy? Is it him? Oh, it's that guy, okay. How close? How close? He's really close to the exit, you gotta be kidding me. I don't get the box. He's really close to the exit. Oh, BP... BPHS, that guy's the enemy. What was I doing? That guy's a brick wall. Hold on, let me... I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Alright, I'm back. It was the Call of Duty. Uh, let's see, where am I doing? 
I need to go back and get that box first. Wow, that's probably the worst possible thing that can happen. I have no movement now. I have no movement now. Oh my gosh, and he's going to the exit. I don't like this mission. Because it's it's weird, because it's, it's expecting you to be able to... To, like, defeat a BPHS member. And what if your character isn't meant for attacking? Like, what happens if you just give your guy zero attack and you just specialize all in movement? What are you gonna do? Like, you can't do anything. You're just stuck. You're, you're gonna be stuck in this story mission. Because you cannot advance with your current character. I mean, I guess if you don't care about the story, that's fine. The only problem with that is you would have to continue to play with another human another human character or if you actually have someone to play multiplayer with you can you know do that too but you know because one guy by himself is are they really going to be playing with two humans and two computers like that just cheap so kind of ruins the fun of the game at that point it's like you know you might as well make all four four of your characters humans and just play with Play, play with the whole board. I mean, I guess that's a good way to collect items. That is a good way to collect items, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, come on, BPHS. You're almost at the exit. He's almost at the exit. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm like, I'm almost at the exit, too. Roll a one. Oh my goodness. The game's actually favoring us right now. I don't do like seriously. That guy was the guy with was with him. He, the BPHS was with artist all the way in the very top left of the map, and somehow he's already down here. He keeps rolling those sixes. Look at this. I'm not gonna beat him. I I I don't think I'm gonna beat him. That's a gun. That's a uh, that's a really good item. Look at this. I rolled it. Oh my. What the heck is going on? Well, at least I landed on it. Can't get hurt anymore, you know? Because, you know, once you have one leg damage trap, you can't lose more. You can't lose more movement if it's already zero. Can't go into negatives. This guy's ridiculous. Look at this guy. He's just gonna run past me. If, if I do happen to cut him off, he's just gonna run right past me. Oh, come on, I have all these attack cards. There you go. Come on, man. You have to run through me. Oh, man, the anxiety. The anxiety, right? This guy's going to run right past me. He's like, oh, I got a six. Time to run past me. Okay. Oh man. Gotta fight him. Attack the BPHS. Well, if you're using that, I'm gonna use this then. Defense is doubled. Oh, okay. So now I have okay. Doesn't really help, but I guess it's better than nothing because I'm not gonna do any damage to him. Like, look at that. One damage. One damage, and that was a really, really high roll. This guy, boom, bunch of damage too. Boom. This way he's gonna run right past me. That one movement is gonna make that much of a difference when it comes to bots. They're just gonna run right past me. Here you go, run away. Look at that. What the heck is that? I guess I should also mention one way of removing the the leg status is to just go into the exit, but then you spawn somewhere else. 
I, I can't beat him. It's a game over. Well, I guess you get to see your first game over. Look at that. Look at this nonsense. What is this nonsense? What the heck is this nonsense? He started off in the very edge of the map. I was right next to the exit. I got two leg damage traps. Alright. I also have to level up, too. <laughs> it just increased movement. Oh my gosh, should I do it? Should I do it? Just not even worry about attack anymore at this point. I'll do it. I'll do it. My character is good. I guess it should be what he says now. Okay, I have a new job for you. This time your client is a VIP. So that's what it said in the beginning before I skipped it. Because I thought we were doing just a regular dungeon map. He's, hey man, get this HAV disc. He's, all right, man, hurry up. He's, all right, come on, man, I gotta talk to you. I got, got some info about the thief. So now we got the info about the thief. Oh, wow. Do you see what's wrong here? Do you see what's wrong here? I have to go up there with this guy. Alright, let's do it. You gotta be kidding me. Well, he's already outran us. No, he hasn't. Okay. That PPHS has a lot of attack. That is a lot of attack. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's b if I'm raising movement, maybe it's better for me just not to even level up. Because that one HP that I'm getting isn't going to make any difference. Put a leg here. And I'll go down here. I'll go down here. Wow. There you go. Damage his legs at least. You seriously have got to be kidding me. I'm fighting a bro now. I, I can't do anything about it. Like, I'm serious. Maybe I should just not level up. Or maybe I should just start over and make a better character. Oh my goodness. Should I start over and make a better character? Maybe I should. Because, dude, this character is complete garbage now at this point. Let's just start over. See, that's what I'm saying. When you make a jack-of-all-trades character, just bad things happen. Extremely, extremely bad things happen. Gotta start over. Oh man. Don't worry, we got this though. Gonna make a new one. This time we're gonna call him Bebob. Bebop. That's fine, I need I need a change of scenery, you know. Bebub. give him enough. I'm just, no, everything must go to attack. 12 attack, nothing else. That would be insane. That would be insane. An insane character right there. I'm good with it, I'm good with it. Let's pick another character. Pick this dude. Alright, let's go. Got nothing to lose now.
So now we're starting over because I want a better character now. I'm so sick of him. Like he's he's not moving around. Compared to like the other characters who have only one movement. And he's like getting destroyed in every battle. So I'm like, nah man. Like that one movement, is it really worth it? I don't think so. And while I'm at it, on these missions, I'm not gonna waste my time going for the target item. Because there's no such thing as a game over if it's not a story mission. I'm saying this is a story mission, but it's the first mission in the game. Like, you're not gonna get a game over. I'm gonna go for all my items, and we'll see what happens. Dropping a stone trap. Time to go get this box. Girl with the green hair. I know typically these Mohawk characters and this Hat Lord, dang it. That's the same build as me. That's the same exact character as me. I didn't even know so stats are the same same exact character. The bot's learning. Look at Tranka, that's probably one of the worst characters. 28 HP. That's that's a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades right there. Because HP is worthless if you don't have the stats to back it up. Yes. Oh, not yet. I'm going to hold on to one of those traps. Just because if someone's chasing me, I want to be able to drop a trap and then they lose their whole hand. And their turn, basically. This kind of sucks because- oh, I, at least I have a 9. I have a 9 attack at least. I'm gonna finish that guy off. This guy is gonna take at least 18 damage unless, like, the rolls are completely horrible. He gets, like, two sixes. I get, like, two ones. What's this? Oh, come on. I'm gonna drop this right here. And I'm just going to take one step back, and I'm going to finish him off. I'm gambling that he takes the bait. There we go. There we go, perfect. Time for him to get hit. Boom, he's dead. That guy's dead. Sorry, buddy. You attacked the wrong person, though. I should do enough damage. I'll just use this. Let's luck of the draw, right? Sorry, buddy. Maybe next time. See, this monster always gives me trouble. He always crit he always crits me. He always crits me. Look, look. Okay, good. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, he always crits me. Boom. Aw, oh, yeah. Boom. I got a nine with the name on it. Here you go, monster. You want a nine? Here's a nine. Just for you. There we go. I like this character already. All that movement does no good. Time to get out of here. I'm gonna get the box. And I'm not afraid of Hathor now. His HP is 7. <laughs> His HP is 7, so nothing to fear. Actually, I'll be right back. I'll check something.
Alright, sorry about that. Now I'm back. Let's go win the game. Don't want to land on any traps, so I'm gonna get this six. I already, dude, I already love this character. Good things are only happening to me. I regret ever making the Jack of All Trades character. I wasn't even intending to, it just happened. Forget that. Got some champagne. Each, each of those drinks has a different name. Like, purple and the blue. I don't remember what they are. I just remember, like, the green one's soda, I think. This guy's crazy. I know, I'm gonna blame it on the yellow feather. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be the yellow, fe the yellow feather. Come on, I need... I need a trap. The first time, it worked out. It worked out super well. I need a trap. This guy's gonna chase me until he dies, dude. Oh my god, he's at 8 and 9. He, he will kill me. Without a doubt, he will kill me. So I gotta attack him first. Come on, do not get a 6. Oh man, he's gonna kill me. I don't think I can do anything about this. He is gonna kill me. He's gonna do a lot, lot of damage. I know, escape. Alright, man. I don't want no trouble. Oh, thank you. I think I survived. With barely any HP. Oh my gosh, I finished him off again. I finished him off again. Oh my gosh, I knew he'd heal up. That guy is on a mission to kill someone. Oh, I, this guy better not reach me. Oh, he's trying to get an item, okay. There we go. That hat lord is on a mission. Like, see, as I'm telling you, the character is so specialized that the bot, that the bot is even struggling to use him. I want to get that red background. There we go. Perfect. Now's my time to shine. Oh, no, it's not. Alright, I'm not going to reach him. It's always the girl. Remember, there was also another girl in like the other video? She was avoiding everything. Let's go! Three! Let's go! Six! Oh, six! Okay! Let's go! That's it. Gotta get out of here. Whenever I look at my character, I think of Yugi for some reason, like from Yu-Gi-Oh. This is weird. So I were Yugi on a mission. Let's see. So at least I got soda. That guy's got all the items. Shame I ain't gonna get any of it. I think she's going after me. What do you guys think? And he's running away for some reason. Like, I don't like those corner steps. Like, it's just weird. Like, I swear there's gonna be like a glitch one day where it's like you can't reach the exit, just all corner steps. I I have actually seen a glitch in this game where the cursor, when it's on a bot, or I think it's when, when it's trying to reach someone, it goes off the screen. Like, it, I, I can't do it. It just goes off into like the darkness over there. It's weird. Alright, no nothing. Let's make it out of here. You're still alive! Oh shoot! I know, I rest my character at the end. No, I'm not gonna sell anything. Gotta identify the Coca Cola first. Bottle. Never mind, I was wrong. I thought it was soda, but apparently not. Soda, that one's soda. Okay, at least I got the soda. Let me go in there and sell my soda.
25. That's a junk item. I'm gonna keep it just in case. Sell the red one, right? 150. That one's actually worth a lot. I'm gonna keep the junk item. Just in case I need to flee. Let's save now. Ooh, overwrite it. Yes, overwrite it. It's not worth it. I'm overwriting it. Now we're at... I want to see the picture again? Bebob. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's it for now, guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a break for a little bit. And we'll make another video soon. Alright, everyone. Peace out. Have a good day. Have a good life. See you soon.